Hey guys, so this video is going to be to show how to use the Fade Time Macros plugin I've created. Uh, it was designed to go along with the Presets to Macros plugin so that if you get one of these color macro grids, you can set the fade times for the colors without having to depend on the the fade time, whatever, programmer, executor fade time in the console. So what this it's going to reference the sequences uh, not the executor since these aren't running on executors so it's going to re reference the sequences in the macros so it's helpful to have them all consolidated for whatever type you're going to be using so in this case it's color so we just want to check where the sequences are we're going to use so I'm going to start at 106 and I'm going to extend it down here let's say to 150 just so I have room to add in more color things in the future and have them still controlled by these macros the other thing I want to check before I start is where the macros are going to be saved. So I'm going to put them at the end of where I stored these color macros. So I'm going to do it at 240 to start a new row. And that's all we need and we are good to start the plugin. Now if you are on a physical console, before we start running this, you're going to want to make sure that you have your thumb drives all pulled out of the console so that there's no other forms of memory plugged in. There's currently a bug with the plugin that it's looking for files that are on the internal storage, but it's checking the USB drive, and I haven't found a fix for it yet. So for the time being, just make sure there's no thumb drives in there, and I'll try to have this fixed on a future release if it's possible. So I'll go ahead and click here. It's going to ask you for the sequence type. This is just so it knows what to name the macro or the, the variable in the background. So if you have multiple different sets of these, they don't overlap. You can have different types. So I'm going to do this one for colors. Uh, it's going to ask for the starting macro. I was starting at 240. And the starting sequence, 106. And I said I was going to go to 150. And then it asks you for the fade times. These are in seconds. You don't have to type S. You probably shouldn't type S. So I'm going to go through these. Zero, half a second, one second, one and a half. All right. And then once you've entered the last time, uh, again, just like with the color one, just hit enter on the blank screen. And it will have created all of the macros for this purpose. Now the very first one of these will be the set variable macro. The first line of this has the sequences that we are changing the, the fade times on. If you decide later that you wanted to extend or condense the range of sequences that were affected by this, all you have to do instead of having to redo the whole plugin is come in here, let's say I wanted to change it to 149 because I wanted three clean rows. So I just change it to that and then leave here and then make sure to run the macro otherwise that line's not going to do any good because command line didn't process it yet so make sure you run that and now your range of sequences has been adjusted to what you need it for so we take all of these we're going to assign let's go to our command here we're going to assign this through this onto this so we add it into our layout and we can fancy it up a little bit, center it over here. Uh, why not? So we can go here and maybe space them out some so we can differentiate them from the other ones we set. My positioning is horrible. God, I'm drunk. And then maybe, let's see. May make it a little bit bigger to tell them apart. Anyways, get those set up in there. So now we have the fade time macros. So I don't need that showing up there. So now instead of them all just popping between colors, let's say I want to do a one second fade, they will all fade for me. Now you will see on these macros that it will stall on line two. That's not because the macro is not working that's just visual confirmation that the macro has been hit because when you're in layout view you'll notice that you don't get the same white flash that you get when you use it in the actual pool so to make up for that I just left it so it would pause on a line 
uh, so you can see that you actually did hit it. If you hit it again, it's just gonna take you back to the same spot. So that's all that is, uh, and you'll see the same thing on these. You'll see it show line two for a second. It's not because it's taking a while to actually finish, it's just so you know that you hit it. But that's it for this. So if you wanna download this plugin, uh, it's in the description below, as well as a link on how to set it into your show file if you don't know. And you can also find my email address down there. Feel free to email me if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions on this plugin or any of my other plugins, or if you have ideas for future ones that you might like to see, uh, you know, shoot me an email and I'll see what I can do with it. Um, and check out my channel for any other plugins that I made. So that's it for this. Hope you guys have some good use between this and the Color Grid plugin. And thanks for watching.